Hi guys, welcome to Born and Win. I'm glad that you guys are back for another video. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Uh, it really does help the channel grow and it helps me to know that you guys are appreciating what I'm giving you guys and it's some type of value towards you guys. If you guys do find it useful, share it as well with your family members, anyone that you of your loved ones. And on top of that, um, let's get right into this topic. So this topic that I'm going to speak be speaking to you guys I have a lot of personal knowledge when it comes down to this uh, uh, this main topic because I've been getting a lot of Instagram DMs with people telling me how did you deal with uh, telling your parents that you were gonna drop out and pursue entrepreneurship and the answer at least for me is I did not <laughs> I wasn't actually like I wasn't the person that I, I, I roughly uh, spoke about this on my first video so if you guys haven't watched that I'm gonna put it down below for you guys could watch that as well but essentially what I ended up doing is that I told them that I was going to community college I had just gotten out of high school barely passing barely passing GPA I probably passed well actually my last year I, I did pretty good in school I'm not gonna lie to you my last year but my freshman year I flunked like three cal classes my sophomore year it was just really bad I wasn't the best student towards the end uh Towards the end of my uh, high school career, I started getting a little bit better and I stopped being lazy. But um, with that being said, I knew that high school, uh, high school and school in general wasn't going to be the route for me. Like college wasn't going to be the route for me. So I knew that immediately. The reason being is because I had to try so much harder uh, to actually get what they were saying the reason being is because I really didn't give a fuck uh, I didn't care about the topics that they were speaking about and the reason being is because it really didn't touch me in my heart it didn't really resonate with me it didn't give me that fucking fire to wake up every single day and say hey dude I want to go to school I want to do this I want to get a degree and there's just there's nothing wrong with getting a degree that's one thing that I'm gonna tell you guys right now there is nothing wrong with getting a degree um, if you're gonna be going into a field that you need a degree obviously I don't want to go to a fucking doctor that's saying I guess this is how we do it okay when it comes down to business it's more hands-on you can't really I, I think it's the stupidest shit if you're going to school for a business degree the reason being is is because you're not going to learn how to run a business from someone that's telling you that they know business or they got a business degree but they don't have a business themselves it just doesn't make sense to me they make 40 to 50k I actually when I got into my first college class what ended up happening I went to the teacher and I told him uh, I actually raised my hand and I told him out loud eight so how much does an average teacher make a college professor and he's like 40 to 50k I was like, hell yep, I got up, I literally grabbed my stuff, no kidding, and I literally walked out. And people were looking at me like I was fucking crazy. But I just knew I will. I wanted to be rich. That's it. I just knew I wanted to be rich, and I knew that he wasn't about to teach me. I just had that intuition that this guy, how is he going to teach me how to make a million dollars if he's never even made six figures? It's just not possible. So in my degree, in, in my area, I knew that I had to get going. So this is going to be my journey, and this is going to be me sharing the tips that I took when I actually decided to go tell my parents that, hey, dude, I dropped out. Okay, so that's that's the scariest shit that you could possibly do. Just know that you're not alone, okay? Many people have done this, and the reason why you're doing it, and you should do it if you're not like if you're not sure about going to college, don't go to college. Start a business, venture off and figure out what you're gonna do. You're just you're wasting money, okay? That's all you're doing. So essentially if you're not sure, then don't go. Okay, until you're sure about what you're going to do, then uh, decide to, if it, college is going to be a good fit for you. But the best advice I could give you is don't go to college right away if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're not going to, why would you pay to figure it out when you could figure it out in your room, right? <laughs> so it, it makes no sense. Okay, so that's number one. You just have to know exactly what you're going to want. So you have to identify what you're going to get uh, out of this. And if you're scared to go up to your parents and tell them, hey, dude, I don't want to I don't want to do this, then go with them with the fucking plan. Why are you scared? What is the root of why you're scared to go up to them and talk to them? It's number one. It's going to be you just don't know what the fuck you're going to do. Well, then figure it out. 
throughout the time, just tell them, hey, dude, I'm going to school. I'm going to do this, whatever the case may be. But start figuring it out. Look for jobs that that are high paying jobs. What I started doing is I was literally sleeping in my car. I was procrastinating. I'm not going to lie to you. I was the worst example of what a college dropout should have been doing. Even after I, I dropped out of college, most people would have been like, oh, yeah. So like, you know, you just started your entrepreneurial journey. You, you got a job, whatever. No, I literally sat in my fucking Honda, my 98 Honda Civic that was torn up, fucking hold up, held up with fucking duct tape, the front bumper. The back bumper had duct tape, clear duct tape, Gorilla tape to hold the back bumper up. The fucking window wouldn't roll up. Like, it was fucked up. I, I, I was dirt broke. My parents didn't help me out when it comes down to, like, anything. I was I was struggling, okay? They did the best they could, but, hey, man, it, was, it, it wasn't the best upbringing, uh, upbringing. I'll just say that, okay? We were penny pinching, definitely, okay? So, understand that, that m it's not going to come right away. It didn't come to me right away either. I, I had to spend time. I was depressed for a little while. I was like, damn, I don't know what the fuck to do. I, I can't tell anyone that I dropped out because I have no fucking plan. I, I didn't just have a Bill Gates moment and said, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to suddenly be a fucking millionaire. No, what ended up happening is I literally fell into a depression and I ended up... Um, I ended up sleeping in my car, just saying, telling my parents that I was going to school. I would wake up like around like 7.30, 8.30, tell them that I was going to be going to college. And I would take my car to like the nearest local park and I would literally go to sleep all day. And just bullshit all day and not do anything. But one day I decided, hey dude, I want to get rich. I want to do this. And I said that I have these goals. So I started looking for jobs. I started applying for jobs. I got a couple jobs, uh, blah, 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 doing a little bit of sales through Sears, stuff like that, working in a factory, um, other jobs like that. But ultimately what ended up getting me out is like me look, running into a solar job, right? Running into a solar job and then getting into that industry and then making my making my money there right so long story short long story short you guys have to identify what you guys want to go and how do you identify that you guys have to number one you guys have to try a lot of shit try a lot of shit guys before you guys go to your parents and tell them that you guys are going to drop out you guys need to have a fucking plan at least yeah it will hurt because those they're gonna if your parents are anything like my parents they're immigrants the first thing that you get told the only way you could be successful in america is by getting a degree and, and maybe that was right for their time for our time, it's a completely new de uh, new generation. People are fucking rich on the internet. People are rich just by starting a business, by being consistent, whatever the case may be. They're just, they were taught the wrong information. It does not work no more. The system is broken, guys. You have to understand that that system is broken, at least for you making a lot of money like right now. Not talking about three years down the line, four years down the line with the college degree. I'm not saying that, that that's not a traditional path and uh, you shouldn't take it. You shouldn't take it. It's going to be convenient for some of you guys. Not everyone's going to be an entrepreneur. But if you're watching this, you're most likely a fucking entrepreneur. You're part of the Born to Win Nation, man. You guys are hungry. You guys want to go after it. You guys want to, you have that burning desire, but you don't want to let, you don't want to let your parents down. So understand this too as well is that you're not going to hate and you're going to resent them. You're going to resent them later on when you're 25, 26. Hey, dude, I shouldn't have gone to college and I should have just fucking lived my life. And that's the worst feeling you're going to feel, dude. When you're on your deathbed, you're going to be like, damn, I should have went harder. I should have literally fucked what anyone said. And I should have gone after my dream because at the end of the day, they're just saying it because they're scared. They don't know what you're going to be able to do, especially if you're the first one that's doing what you're doing. I didn't know any six figure earners. I didn't know any millionaires in my family. There was no one to tell me or indicate me that I was on the right path, man. So if, if I failed, my parents were just trying to shelter me for I wouldn't fail. That's all they were doing. So I understand the, uh, I understood their worry, but I understood that I wasn't going to fail, man. I was going to be able to do it. I just didn't know how yet. So understand that you're early in the process. You're not a fucking failure just because you don't know what you want to do at 20, at freaking 19, 23, 24, 25. Dude, it doesn't matter what age, man. You're super young. You're super young. Understand that, man. You have time, but you have to be looking for things that you're interested in. Try a lot of shit. Understand that it's going to take time, like I told you. 
and understand that you're not living for anyone else other than yourself. You have to please yourself. At the end of the day, you have to feel good about yourself because it doesn't matter what mom or dad thinks because at the end of the day, you're going to leave the nest. You're going to live your life and you're going to resent them. You're going to be like, damn, dude, I should have just done what I wanted to do, what gave me life. And, and instead of just going to a dead end job that was making sixty, seventy thousand dollars after taxes, you were bra barely breaking around 50K, which is, it, it's not financial freedom, at least for me, for my standards. Hey, if that's what you want, hey, completely understand it, man. But I, I, I you wouldn't be watching this video if that's what you wanted, okay, guys? So understand that you have to make that jump. Everyone's fucking scared to have that conversation. That's why I never had it until I actually started getting results. I went up to them. Hey, dude, I dropped out. And they were like, they fucking didn't talk to me for weeks. They didn't talk to me for weeks. And then they got over it because they started seeing results. I was telling them, hey, this is the amount of money that's coming in. This is going to be what I'm doing. This is my plan. They started seeing my drive, they started seeing the long hours I was putting in and they respect you so much as a human being. They respect you as your man, as your woman, whatever you are, man. They respect you more. People will respect you more when you say no and you stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for what you believe in or you will fall for anything. Stand for something or you'll fall for anything. That's the best saying that you could possibly ever get, okay? So you guys have to understand that everything takes time. You're still early in the process. I love you guys. Uh, take care. I hope you guys had a happy Easter and spend it with a lot of love, a lot of family, uh, a lot of food, man. I hope you guys stuffed your guys' mouth with good food. And you guys had a great time, man. Happy Easter. Happy Resurrection uh, Sunday. I really do appreciate you guys. Take care. If you guys found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends. On top of that, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And just remember, guys, you guys were born to win. You guys make the extraordinary look ordinary. Until next time, guys. I love you guys. Peace.